surgeon here in Chicago, Illinois. We're at the Chicago Aesthetic Surgery Institute in Rosemont, Illinois, which is right next to O'Hare Airport. We're here today to talk about the Keller Funnel. The Keller Funnel is a device that we've been using for approximately 10 years to help us with the insertion of silicone breast implants. There's a couple advantages to using the Keller Funnel, and I think that uh, there are many handouts on it, there's many things that you can read about, but I think in uh, summary, the best way to think about a Keller Funnel, it is a very easy, non-traumatic way to insert a breast implant. And the importance of uh, putting it in atraumatically is after doing a very careful surgery, you want your implant to go in as smoothly as and easily as possible. You don't want any trauma on the actual shell of the implant, and you also don't want the implant to actually touch the skin. We call this a no-touch technique, and uh, over the years we've seen that even Keller Funnel now calls it a no-touch technique. Um, this minimizes the contact uh, of the implant to the skin and thereby possibly reducing the risk of capsular contracture. Why don't we go ahead and at this point uh, actually show you how we use the Keller Funnel, uh, not in a patient, but actually just here on uh, the operating room table. So um, I'm gonna use a pair of gloves. My assistant here, Carrie Corrigan, uh, will uh, help with everything uh, after that. So the Keller Funnel is designed uh, to be adjustable to the size of implant that you're using. And if the implant is small, once you've uh, taken out the sleeve out of here, once the, if the implant is small, you don't have to make any adjustments. Uh, if the implant's a little bit bigger, like this one, then you'll go ahead and trim the funnel to make the uh, outlet a little bit bigger to accommodate the bigger implant. So why don't we go ahead and put in a little bit of irrigation into the funnel and this activates the lubricant. So once you've acti activated the lubricant inside the sleeve, uh, with the no-touch technique, right out of the box, you can go ahead and uh, put the implant into the color funnel. You then orient the implant itself with the label being on the bottom, and then you go ahead through the tiny little uh, uh, entry, uh, you can insert the implant right into the surgical pocket, like so and it keeps the orientation and you want to check to make sure that that uh, is how the implant is inserted. Once the implant is in, then you can go ahead and start closing or go to the other side and do the same thing and then start closing. Keller Funnel over the years for me has become almost routine in not only cosmetic breast implantation surgery, uh, but for reconstructive surgery. I firmly believe that the opportunity to uh, minimize complications happens at the time of the operation. And if you can do everything in your control to make sure that there's limited to no contact of the implant to the skin, and there's no contact of uh, hands or gloves uh, or blood to the uh, implant, you will minimize your complications. So therefore we use the Keller Funnel on a regular basis and it is part of our uh, safety uh, program to keep breast augmentations uh, as simple and as um, comfortable and as non-complicated uh, for the patient as the years go on. Um, but uh, overall, Keller Funnel is a great addition to the practice and we love using it. Thank you.